WWRR, Scranton, Wilkesbury, WYCK, Plains, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, powered by Mohegan, Pennsylvania. This is the River 105 and 1035. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout with you as I always am. Sunday nights, 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing you regional artists from northeastern Pennsylvania, doing their own original music, hanging out with D.C. Taylor. D.C., how are you, buddy? Okay, Alan. How are you? All right. All right. Deep into April now, yeah. the weather has really turned, yeah. and it's been fantastic. Wonderful. Had some really hot days uh, this month already. Yeah. I hope it's a hot summer. Very nice. Party on the Patio um, Come. announcement came out recently. Coming back June 1st. Yeah, and so a lot to show. You can check mm -hmm. that out. Of course, we promote that here on the river all yep. the time. Yep. And we're excited about tonight's show because we have a few guests with us in the studio. We have... Katie Spencer from the Greater Wyoming Valley Chamber and Michelle Pack from Blue Door Financial. And they are here to talk about an event that's going to be coming up next weekend at the River Street Jazz Cafe. It's an event called Backpacks, Blues, and Rock and Roll. I uh, love the name. Ladies, welcome, first of all. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Thanks, Alan. Thanks so much for having us here, D.C. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, D.C. Thank Appreciate you. you being here with us. Um, when you guys reached out a couple of weeks ago and asked if you could come on and talk about it, um, you know, first of all, as someone that was involved with a lot of these type of events uh, with music and, and trying to do some fundraising over the years, you know, I'm certainly appreciative of that effort. And then you have Teddy Young on the bill, who's a favorite of ours here on the show. He's been a guest. Uh, he's been live here with us. Uh, and so let's talk about this event that's, that's coming up on the 29th at the River Street Jazz Cafe. Backpack Blues and Rock and Roll. Um, it's an event, really, that's aimed at, uh, it's a Leadership Northeast project, right? Correct. So there's a, a part of leadership where when you go through Leadership Northeast, there are projects that the class takes on. And your group is called the Snack Pack. And your goal is to put some... Uh, Backpacks, fill these backpacks with food for some kids that will be going to the JCC summer, summer camp this summer, correct? That is correct. So tell us a little bit about um, this, the impetus for this project, the need for it. Because when kids are going to camp, from what you guys told me in the email, and the camp counselors and the people that run the camp are realizing that they don't always have everything they need, right? Yeah, that's correct, Alan. So uh, this idea came out, uh, came up with Barb at the JCC because the JCC, if you don't know, provides food to family, food to families in the area. And they noticed a dramatic increase in the, over the last couple of years. And they also run a summer camp. And at that summer camp, about 35% of those campers are on scholarship. And they were noticing that sometimes the only meals these children were getting during the week were at camp. Similar to that problem we see where when children are going to school during the year, yeah. sometimes the only time they eat is at school. So they had the idea to create a program where backpacks are provided to these students to take home, filled with nutritious food for the weekend that they could eat themselves and share with their families and so that no children would go hungry over the summer either. So when they come to camp for the week, the meals are provided. And this is also, you're taking it home from camp in the backpack. That's amazing. What, yeah. a, what, a, what a terrific idea. Um, how, let's talk a little bit more about how you came up with the idea to, to do something about it. And we'll talk about leadership and we'll talk about JCC and all that, all that great stuff. Let's get to some music. This is Teddy Young, who will be playing on Saturday at the Jazz Cafe as part of this benefit. A song called Let's Start All Over Again. Thank you. 
This is Dustin Douglas from Dustin Douglas and the Electric Gentleman, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the river. Douglas and the Electric Gentleman here on Music on the Menu. We're actually, that's a Dustin solo track. It's called Daydream. We played a whole bunch of brand new Dustin recently, but figured we would dip back in to uh, the old catalog a little bit here tonight. And before that, Teddy Young played a track called Let's Start All Over Again. And again, he'll be at the River Street Jazz Cafe this Saturday night as part of Backpacks, Blues, and Rock and Roll. It's a benefit show. It's being organized by the Leadership Northeast um, Snack pack project and it will benefit uh, the kids out at the jcc and we were talking a little bit about it before we got to the music and michelle was telling us a little bit about the need um katie what was it about the situation out at the jcc that um wanted you to get involved with the snack pack project uh when we were making our decisions on what our group was going to be um we had um, fellow parents in the group, and we saw, you know what, this really is a problem. And we have heard about it, the statistics, and we just know with the food pantries that are all over our area and the country that we need to do something. And this was something that we could do. We saw where maybe we could get the book bags and where we can get the food and how we can make an impact. So this was where we really wanted to take the plunge and take this leadership project on. And you, you're both right when you when you pointed out that the situation often sometimes gets worse in the summer. You remember, as we all do, two, three years ago, during the worst of the pandemic, 
not only were a lot of people concerned about the academic uh, fallbacks of virtual learning and online learning because of social reasons and everything, but from a more practical standpoint, there was this awareness that, as you said, that's where a lot of these people, these kids eat. Yep. And so now they're not coming to school at all for what was the better part of an entire school year. And so we heard these type of stories back then about these type of concerns and not surprised at all that you, you know, each in your group took notice of how this, you know, takes place in the summer and, you know, kids that are going to camp are going to eat there. But what about over the weekend? Exactly. And so uh, kudos to you both and your group for, for putting this event together. We're going to talk a little bit more in the next break, a little bit about leadership in general. And, and a little bit about the JCC. Let's play another one here from Teddy Young. This one's called Buddha Fly. I'm getting older, baby. Yeah, now I'm 
Hey, this is Mike Miz, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on The River. It's a standstill on the one and nine, but I am in a different town. I'm thinking about that birthday on the beach. You know the frozen is growing strong. Summertime's come and gone I know better things are just within my reach But now my mind is all a mess Can't stop thinking about the way she wore that dress The way she moves, the way she bleeds The way she gave the love inside her heart to me She's a North Jersey queen If she walked into the room right now, every hell would turn around. Her smile makes the heavens open wide. I used to hang upon her every word like a song from a hummingbird. I felt lucky when she looked into my eyes. Now my mind is in distress. Can't stop thinking about her taking off that dress. The way she moves, the way she gleams. When her big brown eyes were looking up at me She's a North Jersey queen So take this love and drag it down Feels like yesterday when we own this town So take my hand, won't you pull me up Feels like yesterday when you stole my love And I can't see better Take it to Fenerio and there's nowhere you have left to go. She got what it takes to get you through the night. Now every day I'm so depressed. You know she put back on that dress and walked away. The way she moves, the way she leaves. I can still hear her talking in her sleep. She's a North Jersey queen. Miz here on Music on the Menu with a song called North Jersey Queen. And before that, Teddy Young with a song called Buddha Fly. Again, Teddy, this Saturday night, River Street Jazz Cafe, the Backpack Blues and Rock and Roll fundraiser. We're talking with Katie and Michelle here. They're in the studio with us. They're two of the folks involved in putting this event together. And you're both going through the Leadership Northeast program, and this is part of your project. I've had some friends that have gone through leadership uh, 
I knew Lori Nacido very well. I'm just getting to know Jessica a little bit now. We're getting to our, our, cross, our paths are crossing with my position at the Visitors Bureau where I work full time. And so we're you know, involved with some of the same events. So terrific people, great program. Tell, tell the audience, you know, because we have such a, a big footprint here radio-wise, just outside of the Wyoming Valley in Luzerne County, uh, but a little bit about leadership Northeast and, and what it's all about. Sure. Leadership Northeast is an incredible program. And as you mentioned, Jess Cronauer took over as executive director this year. Uh, she's doing a phenomenal job. We're really honored to be a part of she her. She sure is. And she could dance, too. We just oh, found out. Oh, what a, she what won a dancing with the, She won Dancing with the Stars this dancing year. Dancing with at, Stars at the Kirby. Yeah, she did a great job. Um, and she's doing a great job. We're super happy to be in her first class. Uh, I'm, I'm not from this area. I moved here about three years ago. And I've done leadership programs across the country. And I have to honestly say... This is hands down the best leadership development program I've ever done. Not only does it get me acclimated with this community and get to learn about the history of Wilkes-Barre um, and the amazing people and programs that we have here, but it's teaching me leadership skills in a new and different way. Jessica keeps it interesting, fun. The speakers mm. that we have are just incredible people. Um, the programming is just awesome. And the networking and the friendships that we're building through these this program is unbelievable. I have made more good friends than the last eight months than I had in three years being here previously. And, and I'm not a wallflower. Well, I mean, I, I, I've heard that from so many people that have gone through it. Matter of fact, when I, my previous job, I used to work over at St. Vincent de Paul Pitchin, Kitchen as part of my job. And they would come through, uh, the group would come through just to check out what we did there, learn more about it. I mean, I knew that was just one of your stops that this group these groups are going out all over the community, learning more about those type of programs and opportunities to get involved in ways to help. Katie, what are your thoughts on leadership? I was um, honored to be selected to be in the class of 2023. Um, I tend to be a little bit more on the shy side, and this has definitely cracked me out of my shell and um, taught me just more about our area. I was born and raised here, but I learned even more about our area. I learned about servant leadership. And just the impact that a group of people can make in our area um, when we come together. And it has been an, a phenomenal experience so far for me. And kudos to both of you for, for going through the program and, and being out there and putting yourself and your time out there to, to projects like this event that you're working on for this Saturday night. Let's play another great artist from Northeastern Pennsylvania right now. This is Joe Burke and Company, a song called Gray. Chasing time like I've got some to waste Writing rhymes thinking they'll fix my pace Praying hard I put the great love on it Great love on my road Selling my confidence in childish ways Timidly searching through the blue and the gray Like 
Hey y'all, this is Kate, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on The River.
Island Treatment here on Music on the Menu, a song called Valentine. Before that, Kate with a tune called Pieces of You. And before that, Joe Burke and Company with a song called Gray. This is Music on the Menu. We're here every Sunday night from 9 to 10. Tonight, we're hanging out with Katie and Michelle. They're going through the Leadership Northeast program, and they are organizing an event this Saturday night at the River Street Jazz Cafe. It's called Backpacks, Blues, and Rock and Roll. We've been talking about it throughout the whole hour, um, benefiting some of the kids that attend the JCC summer camp, making sure that they have food, not only, obviously, that's provided for them at the camp, but to take home uh, for the evenings and, and for the weekends. Um, so the backpacks, you've got 70 of them, I think I read. Something like that. About 70 of them going. And just, just I know we talked about leadership during the last break, but the JCC, I mean, I personally know some of the folks involved over there, the Cornfells, Fellermans, Schweigers, Fearman, uh, Rob Friedman, of course. Of course. Uh, great people. Beautiful new um, facility that they have in Kingston. The the, the actual incredible the, the new facility for the JCC, um, and then the camp, of course, out in the Back Mountain, which is a part of it. Just a, a wonderful part of our community, and so wonderful to see you reaching out uh, to them in particular. I know you you're pretty fond of the place yourselves. I am. I am a big fan of the JCC. Uh, it's one of the first places that really welcomed me when I first moved to the area, and. I think people don't always realize that the JCC does a lot for the Wyoming Valley, not just for the Jewish community, right. but for the community in general. They have incredible programs. Gary Bernstein is an amazing, he does a great job as the executive director there. Uh, their staff is fantastic. They've got pickleball. they got, like you said, a phenomenal facility itself. And they do a lot of programs that benefit the community. And they put a lot of thought into that new facility in Kingston, too. Um you know, I was a newspaper reporter for a long time, so I did an article about it about four years ago when it opened. And they actually took the old facade from the front of the building on River Street that had that unique look to it mm -hmm. and moved it into the lobby. Yes. And so the people that grew up, it was kind of a neat looking building, you know, and they were sentimentally attached to that and they were aware of that. And so they kept it and they took it and it is, is actually in the lobby of the new facility over uh, in Kingston, right by where the old Price Chopper used to be in the Roller King, for those of you of a certain age. It's back in that area there, <laughs> behind the Arby's, right? <laughs> before, behind there, yeah. before my time. So. <laughs> um, wonderful facility, great great project for, for you guys to be working with. Katie, any thoughts on working with the JCC on they, this project? They have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, they were the ones that came up with the idea, and they helped us along the way. And they wanted us to really take the lead with it and run with it and see how we can help to our top potential. And I have been at events at the JCC, um, just like Michelle said, pickleball, because I want to get in there and I want to play that. Growing um, sport, big time. So it's definitely an amazing place. And it is, like Michelle said, it's for the whole community. So. Well, again, great cause, great event. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the event tickets and, and you know, all, all the stuff coming up to River Street Jazz Cafe. In our next break, but let's get back to the music. This is Mere Mortals, a tune called Unreal.
mistake Did I treat her like glass? Did I hope she would break? Did I hope she would break these walls I'm building? How am I to know she still needs me? This lonely rain just keeps on falling down. She's crying again, you know, when she cries.
Rick Manwiller here on Music on the Menu with a song called The One Who Got Away. Before that, Shannon Marciana, a little country vibe there, with a song called Stick in the Mud. And before that, Mere Mortals with a tune called Unreal. We're winding down the show tonight. We've had a great time talking with Katie and Michelle about the upcoming Backpacks, Blues, and Rock and Roll event coming up at the River Street Jazz Cafe. Tickets for this fundraiser are $20 at the door. But if you want to get them early, because you still got about six days, if you're listening to the show right now, you can get them for $15, and you can get them through your Facebook page, which um, is basically called the... The Snack Pack. The Snack Pack. So check out The Snack Pack on Facebook, and if you would like to get tickets in advance, there'll be links there where you could, where you could purchase them. Let's talk about this artist, um, Teddy Young. I've known Teddy forever. Like, literally since we were children. Um, our paths would have crossed anyway, I'm sure, because I wound up getting into this work and Teddy's Teddy. <laughs> so, you know, we would have met. But literally, we've known each other since we were little kids. Our parents our parents knew each other. Um, what a terrific artist. We had him at Rock in the River last year, the, the event that we do at the Visitors Bureau. We've had him here on Music on the Menu Live at the casino. He's been a guest on the show. Uh, talk to us about how you feel about having such a, a great, talented artist uh, heading up your benefit for you. Oh, we feel so lucky, right, Katie? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm ready to jam. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I heard Teddy before. Uh, I was introduced to him by Bill Sardoni playing at the River Street Jazz Cafe, which is such a phenomenal venue for music in the area. 
And Teddy is just, he's just a great mix of rock, of blues, of high energy, uh, super talented, and a super great guy. Really, really, really grateful to him for, to be doing this. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, Teddy, if you're listening, uh, nice job, my friend. I'm glad to see you being a part of this, this great event. Ladies, thank you for coming in and hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's been fun. Thank you for uh, having us and let us talk about our fundraiser. Um, and we hope to all see you there on April 29th. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Leave now, as I always do with the Badleys. This is Don't Let Me Hide. We'll catch you next Sunday night. The big man ain't so big no more. He's cut up on the basement floor. His world of goods around his feet He's lost his mind trying to keep The more you gain The more you pray Nobody comes to take it all away But you're up there And I'm down here With just the stairs And walls made a foolish pride. So walk to troubled road, crusading for a ransom mode. But any source of real joy contains an initiation of pain. The more you build, the more you stay. They hide the ten what you have made. Mm, but you're up there. Yeah. Uh-huh.